so this is day one of five on reserve and I was so close but I got got yes they called me it's an overnight um just one day that's it so I leave here tonight to go to Bloomington and then I fly back tomorrow and I'll be done around three so yeah two little flights and that's it but they got me so I am packing my bag, I'm packing my big bag, my new big suitcase, as if I was going on a five day trip. Only reason why, one, well, okay, there's multiple reasons why. One, weather. Two, crew scheduling could change my schedule and add trips to me. And three, you should always pack for however many days that you were on reserve for. That's it. I'm just saying. Cruise scheduling could always add a trip to you and they could keep extending it until your five days are up or however many days you're on reserve. So don't take any chances and pack like you're going on a five day trip. And if you're only used for one day, like I hope, if you're only used for one day, the good thing is you get to go home. Oh my gosh, you guys. So on the way to the train station, right, I, um, it started raining some more. And <laughs> I was talking about how I was watching um, somebody else's YouTube videos, who's a flight attendant. I was watching his YouTube videos and he was talking about how there was a flash flood. And then I was, I was talking about it. And then all of a sudden, we get a notification about a flash flood here in Atlanta. Apparently, I talked it into existence. So, I am so sorry to everybody in Atlanta at this time. It's not my fault, I promise. No, it's not. <laughs> Alright guys, so I'm in the break room. My flight has been delayed um, because the flight that was leaving the same gate before my flight uh, had a situation. Uh, the pilots ended up calling in for fatigue because the autopilot was out and they've been working since 5 a.m. So it's been a, a really tough time for them. So they're called in fatigue, so they needed to get new pilots. And then the flight attendant uh, was telling me that, you know, once they're in the air, by the time they get in the, you know, before they land or before they even open that door, they'll be hitting 16 hours and, well, 14. And apparently, you know, we're not allowed to go over 14 hours or be scheduled over 14 hours. But for certain situations like IROPs and mechanicals and weather, uh, then you can go over 14 and up to 16 hours. But if it's not one of those situations, then they have to ask you if you are willing to work over 14 hours. So it, it was a back and forth type of thing with uh, crew scheduling. And I guess they got that finally situated or whatever. But... Uh, they're still boarding so I'm in the break room right now and I'm gonna wait until it says taxi out well wait in just a few minutes I'm gonna go upstairs and be at the gate and wait for them to uh, have my plane come in so yay such a fun day already all right, hey guys, I am now in my hotel room. I am comfy, I am about to eat me some food. It may be late, like 12 a.m., but who cares? <laughs> so it was one leg today from Atlanta to Bloomington. Welcome back to Bloomington, I was here last week. And um, we got delayed four times, okay? Four times we got delayed and It was a lot, but we finally made it. It was a nice, calm, smooth flight. I mean, we had some turbulence, but I wasn't talking about that. I was talking about passenger-wise. We had a nice, calm, smooth flight, 
and everything like that. Um, it's Veterans Day, so happy Veterans Day to all the vets out there and those serving now. And our airline was very nice to give Kit Kat bars to all of, you know, to all of our passengers on Veterans Day. So if you got one, congrats. Hey. Anyways, I don't eat chocolate like that, so it's not like I'm gonna eat it. <laughs> but um yes. So it was a pretty good flight. It's very quiet. <sighs> oh. Let's talk about one of my little pet peeves. If you are trying to get my attention, you're trying to talk to me, take your headphones off. Please, take your headphones off. When you're talking to a flight attendant, take your headphones off. That way they know that you're talking to them and you want their attention, you know, or and that you're listening to what they have to say. Because otherwise we're thinking you're not listening to us, you're not hearing us, you know. This guy stopped me like a couple of times, and, but he still had his headphones in. But, and then he talked really, really softly, so I'm just like, what? Excuse me, what? And then he, finally, after me just sitting there looking at him like he's crazy, I'm just like, what? Finally, he takes his, I'm sorry, what? I'm, wait, you're sorry? No, dude, you had your headphones in, okay? I'm trying to understand what you're trying to say, and I'm trying to get some understanding here, clarification, and you're just not answering. Do you want or not? Anyways, that's one of my pet peeves. Um, but yes, I am about to sit back, relax. I don't have a van time until 1045 tomorrow morning, so that means I get free breakfast if I wake up for it but yes some free breakfast in the morning so now I am going to call my loved one let her know I made it safely and I will chat with you guys tomorrow see you soon good morning youtubers um good morning from Bloomington, Illinois. Up early, and I'm trying to take some photos off my phone and put it on the computer, but it's such a long process. But, um, as of right now, still, I only have one leg. One leg today, and that's from Bloomington to Atlanta. And that's, fingers crossed. <laughs> and that would be it. Um, but you never know. So I did pack for a five-day trip. But we will see what happens. I'll see you guys soon. Your girl is going home. Your girl is going home. Your girl is going home. Luckily, you know, I was able to go home today, so yay. My other flight partner, Portia, unfortunately got another trip and she had a turn to Baton Rouge, so she lucked out. But I was able to go home and I'm happy about that. So. That is two days down, three to go. <laughs> Let's see what happens. From Bloomington to Atlanta, we got delayed like, like four or five minutes, you know, not long at all. <laughs> but um, we get on the plane and it's not one that we usually fly. It was 700, so we're like, whoa, 700, yay. <laughs> Um, but anyway, so I'm in the back, I'm in the aft, 
and I'm sitting in my jump seat and right before I take off like out the corner of my eyes I see this hand go up to the nose and then start doing something and then come back out and flick or in, in you know play I'm like is this grown man really picking his nose right there I was like dude if you don't pick your nose pick your nose in the bathroom you know <laughs> that's just disgusting just disgusting I, I can't mm -mm. like straight up just continuously picking his nose right there <sighs> and then he had the audacity of to have his shoes off I don't want to smell your stinky feet. <sighs> Look, if you are flying, be considerate. Don't be nasty, okay? Keep your shoes on. Don't walk around the plane barefoot. That's nasty. Ew. This is disgusting, okay? Don't pick your nose out there in public if you go pick your nose pick your nose in the bathroom where nobody can see you okay oh you best believe I ain't not touching that one person today okay I wore gloves the entire time mm -mm. no thank you yeah anyways um other than that it was a decent it was a good flight it had a lot of uh turbulence leaving Bloomington and entering into Atlanta and get to Atlanta of course it's raining but um it's cold I left 24 degree weather that felt like 12 to come to 54 degree weather that feels like 34 so now I'm just relaxing and waiting and then I can go home <sighs> and we'll see what they have in store for me tomorrow day two of five is complete have a good night you know I totally was not even paying attention but <laughs> I did not get called today it is Wednesday which means it's day three of five on home reserve two days left and we'll see what happens see you soon hey guys so i just received my favorite phone call from my favorite person ever just kidding it's not <laughs> um what's today day four of five on home reserve and I got God again. Yes, I did. They called me for a 2, what, 245 report, 253 report, something like that. I will be deadheading from Atlanta to Charlotte. So I will get ready because I'm still, you know, I got like a little more than two hours. And I will get back to you guys later. See you soon. I was scheduled for a flight to leave at 3.53 and my flight apparently doesn't leave until 5.53 not 3.53 5.53 alright guys so your girl finally made it to her hotel I'm excited about it I'm going to be on the like top floor because I chose my number <laughs> <laughs> anyway, so what happened was we <laughs> the inbound flight was late. So because of that inbound flight, we ended up leaving late. But my report time was 2:53, which meant that we were supposed to leave at 3:53. Floor 6 no, going down. Definitely did not happen. <laughs> oh, sorry. Did not happen at all.
All right, guys, let's talk about today, okay? So, I had a 2.53 report time. And that means it's usually an hour before the plane leaves, right? Before departure. Which meant the plane was supposed to leave at 3.53. No, they gave me a 2.53 report time, but the plane was not scheduled until 5.53. But why? That makes no that's fine. I mean I get the extra pay, but but, but why? <sighs> Whatever. Anyway, so finally the plane comes in. Hop on the plane. I'm expected like when I checked in, I was sitting all the way in the back of the plane. Which I didn't mind. I you know, I was like, okay, fine. If I'm gonna sit on there, I'm gonna sit all the way in the back. I get up, I can scan my ticket thingy, and I get on. They're like, Oh, here you go. I got it upgrade. What? I mean, it's a 36-minute flight from Atlanta to Charlotte, so, eh, it, it's not much. It's not like I'm going to get free stuff in right now, you know, because they're not going to do any service except for the first class. But, what? I got upgraded? That means I get more leg room. Like, I really need leg room because I'm only five foot one. but who cares? More leg room for me. <laughs> Anyways... <laughs> so I get you to the hotel. It's a nice hotel. It's a really nice hotel. I got I chose my room. I chose the very very tippy tippy top floor because I'm cool like that. I'm cool like that. Yeah, I'm cool like that. Hey. Anyways, now I'm about to eat. Talk to my boo. Call my dad back, you know, cuz he wanted to talk to me and uh do some editing. I'll see y'all later. Good morning, YouTubers. Oh my Gosh, I look rough. <laughs> Don't look at me. Today is day five of five, which means it is go home day. Woo! But, like every go home day, there's an issue. Or a delay. Or an IROP. Anyways, <laughs> so my plane, you know, my show time is 6.45. And, uh, it's 5.45, well, not even 5.45, but it's almost an hour till 6.45, so almost an hour till showtime. But, our plane was supposed to leave at 7.45, and I just got a update to my schedule is that we're not leaving until 9.55. From Charlotte hmm. so we're delayed until 9 55 and the question is to stay in my bed until then or to go downstairs and be ready anyways I don't know. Um, there's times where you know, the captain or the first officer, like, yeah, stay in the room, you know, we're not going to leave till later. <clears throat> and then there's times where they're like, get your butt downstairs now and join the crew. I'm going to be dressed and ready to go while I'm eating, but if they tell me that I don't need to be down there, I am be down there it's not like I'm gonna come back and get some sleep cuz that's not what I'm gonna do you know mm -mm, that's just not how it works with me <laughs> I got problems I know anyways that's the dilemma of the day which means they changed my deadhead from the 1059 deadhead to a 11.59? Yeah, 12.59. Yeah, 12.59. Because, I mean, we're not getting into LaGuardia until, like, 11.50. Yeah, 11.55. So then that means my deadhead's at 12.50. Yeah, I'm not even going to look at my schedule. I'm going to just say that's what it is. That's what it is. <laughs> All right, guys. See you later.
Off to breakfast. Let's see if there's gonna be a van run soon. All right, so I decided to get some breakfast. Um, some people decided to stay in the room until later, which is fine. So I got breakfast and I'm gonna work on some stuff while I sit and wait. Cause if I go back up there, I'm gonna lay down and then I'm not gonna wanna get up. Might as well get some business done first, right? All right, guys, so here at the airport in the terminal, just waiting. We get to the plane, we're waiting. Our captain shows up, we're waiting. Then we find out that our, uh, <laughs> that our first officer, our FO, won't be getting here until 12 <laughs> from Atlanta. So we're like, what? <laughs> so apparently we're delayed again because we don't have a first officer, which means we can't do anything. And there's no point in trying to board a plane and not have everybody on, no, I don't think so. So we're just sitting here and we're just waiting now. It's trying to sit in the sun, but you know, if I sat outside, it'd be too cold. Every time on go home day, there's an issue. <sighs> All right, guys. So this is my classmate. We're flying together. Yay! So two times this week, I got two classmates that I fly them with. Woo woo. <laughs> We're still here. <laughs> we finally got an updated time of uh, two thirty. They're killing me on this go home day today. They are killing me. Apparently, the first officer is gonna be on a deadhead. That deadhead won't get here until about 12 something, right? But then they ended up pushing his flight back and delaying his flight. Now he won't be here until about 2.30. They kept pushing our flight back. You know, delays, 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 always, always on go home day. Okay? And then we have an IROP in LaGuardia. Exactly where we're going. LaGuardia, okay? <sighs> Apparently, I won't be making it home until about 7 something. I'm a little upset about that because I wanted to go see <laughs> Fantastic Beasts, The Crimes of Grindelwald. Okay, I told you I was a nerd. Back off. Anyways, so that's where we're going. That's, you know, we're heading. I'm finally on the plane. And we're going to be boarding soon so that when the first officer gets here, he gets off, gets on this plane, and calls it a day and quick and easy done. Right? Let's just hope. Everybody got a snack on their chair because it's supposed to be a full flight and I don't feel like hearing nobody's mouth So every single one of you get a snack You get a snack. You get a snack. Everybody gets a snack, okay? <laughs> Everybody gets a snack. That's it. Don't want to hear your mouth until service starts and then I'll give you an extra snack And a drink. Let's get this ball rolling so I can get home Whew oh my goodness you guys today was a day okay i finally almost made it home but flights being delayed on top of delayed on top of delayed and then once we landed we had a rush me and my flight partner had a rush all the way to another concourse just to catch our deadhead plane otherwise we would have missed it and they were so close to closing the door by the time we got there and then they said we didn't have any tickets oh my goodness you don't understand how upset we were we were like we just want to go home like we were supposed to be home at one something and it is now 9 40 what's, what's the deal you know yeah we weren't happy today but the good thing is, it's go home day. I'm almost home. 
and that means I have the weekend to myself. And I got an extra day because I used a golden day, which is just an extra day off. So I used one golden day for the 19th, and I have three days off. When things get rough, just keep moving, and then things will be looking great. Have a good night, guys. I'll see y'all next week. Happy Thanksgiving from all of us to you.